You've probably heard the name BYD by now, unless you're in the US, where you won't be hearing about them anytime soon. Sorry, but here in Australia, they've gone from zero to serious contender in just three years. Australia is not exactly an easy market to crack. Just ask Opal or Infinity. Over the past decade, we've seen brands roll in with high hopes, only to quietly disappear a few years later. It's not always the product that's the problem, it's the competition, with nearly 70 car brands fighting for attention in a market that only buys about a million vehicles a year, it takes years of persistence to get noticed, and more importantly, to earn trust. But then came BYD. In 2022, they launched the Atto 3, a budget-friendly, well-equipped electric SUV. Astonishingly, it became the third best-selling EV of the year, despite only being on sale for half of it. It hit the market right as EV interest was growing and EV options were few. Its solid value and competitive price meant that buyers were happy to overlook the fact that the brand had only just launched. And this set the path for BYD as they began rolling out their ocean-themed vehicles one by one. Today, they have six sharply priced models on sale in Australia and they just launched the Sea Lion 7 which is already sitting at the top of the EV sales charts. It's an impressive achievement for a brand that was completely unknown here just three years ago. So, should car makers like Tesla and Toyota be worried? Well, yes, they should. The most expensive part of an electric car is the battery. Batteries take years to develop, require billions in investments for highly sophisticated factories, and demand a completely different skill set and supply chain from traditional car making. Car manufacturers have spent a century perfecting assembly lines and combustion engines, but battery production is closer to making semiconductors or pharmaceuticals than it is to manufacturing cars. It's a fine art of electrochemistry requiring lab-like conditions and microscopic tolerances that take years to master. In their rush to get EVs on the road, most automakers, including Tesla, have outsourced battery tech to specialist companies like CATL, Samsung and Panasonic. That middleman adds significantly to the cost. Not BYD. They have a massive advantage that helps them to keep costs down. BYD is one of the largest battery manufacturers in the world, designing and building their own batteries entirely in-house. In fact, they started out as a battery company back in 1995, before expanding into petrol cars back in the 2000s, then into electric transport like city buses, and finally electric cars in the 2010s. Those early EVs were slow sellers, expensive, mediocre, and often nearly double the price of their petrol equivalents. Reliability was also an issue, but BYD didn't give up. Fast forward to today, and they're considered leaders in the EV battery technology space, known for some of the most innovative systems on the market. For many, charging times are seen as a deal breaker when comparing an EV with an internal combustion car. But BYD has just revealed a game-changing solution. Their new megawatt charging system can add an astonishing 400 kilometers of range in just five minutes, a major breakthrough for EVs. Of course, that kind of charging requires suitable infrastructure, and for now, that is being rolled out across China, and it may be some time before we see those kinds of speeds in Australia. But perhaps BYD's most important breakthrough is the development of the Blade battery, fitted to every BYD sold in Australia. It's a completely new way of packaging battery cells that offers a range of benefits, lower costs, smaller size, and a near zero fire risk, even when punctured. It's also said to be double the typical battery lifespan, with some estimates suggesting it could last up to 1 million kilometers. This reliability factor even caught the attention of the world's largest car maker. Toyota has been quietly watching from the EV sidelines, waiting for the tech to mature before taking a swing. It's a more restrained approach, but one that Toyota applies to almost any new technology that goes into its vehicles. Why? To protect its golden egg, its reputation for bulletproof reliability. Barry, what made you finally go electric? Because it's a Toyota. But here's the thing. You can't just fire up a battery plant the moment you decide to go electric. With battery electric vehicle sales booming in China, and BYD's dependable Blade battery already in production, Toyota chose to partner with BYD. It's a move that only reinforces BYD's growing status as a global leader in the EV space. While we only get BYD branded cars in Australia, the company has been busy expanding its reach in China, launching multiple sub-brands aimed at different audiences. 
It's a growing trend amongst Chinese car makers as they scale up and diversify. One brand that would likely resonate with Australian buyers is their off-road focus brand, Feng Cheng Bao, known for its boxy 4x4s that draw on popular styling cues. Then there's Denza. Originally a joint venture with Mercedes-Benz, it's now positioned as a premium brand taking aim at European heavyweights like BMW, Audi and, ironically, Mercedes. And at the very top sits Yang Wang. This is where BYD really lets loose, pushing the boundaries with ultra-luxury EVs and wild tech, including a supercar that can bunny hop and an SUV that can literally swim for up to 30 minutes. Crazy? Absolutely. Both Denza and Yang Wang are expected to launch in Australia in late 2025, bringing BYD's premium and ultra-luxury offerings to local shores. And perhaps most exciting for Aussies, the off-road focus Feng Chengbao models are also likely to arrive under the Denza brand, as has been the case in parts of Europe. Until then, we've got six models to choose from, including the SEAL sedan, which is currently outselling the Tesla Model 3, and the Shark plug-in hybrid U, which has made quite a splash since launching earlier in 2025. There's the Sea Lion 7, which is now topping the EV sales charts, and the Sea Lion 6 available as a hybrid, going head-to-head -head with a RAV4 hybrid and offering over a thousand kilometers of range. Rounding out the lineup is the Addo 3 SUV and the Dolphin Hatchback, both of which have recently been facelifted in China. All models come with a 5-star ANCAP safety rating, a 6-year 150,000km vehicle warranty and an 8-year 160,000km battery warranty. Though to be fair, those warranty terms could be stronger, with other Chinese brands like MG now offering up to 10 years. Looking ahead, BYD has big plans for Australia. The company aims to eventually offer vehicles in every segment across its growing portfolio of brands. From vans to full-size pickups, luxury SUVs to budget hatches, and maybe even a supercar. And with Australia's vast distances and relatively slow EV uptake, BYD is also doubling down on plug-in hybrids, planning to grow that lineup alongside its fully electric range. BYD has even set its sights on a bold goal to outsell Toyota in Australia within the next three years. This is something no car maker has managed to do in decades. Toyota has long dominated, consistently selling twice as many vehicles as its nearest competitor. But with BYD already cracking the top 10, posting triple-digit year-on-year growth, and quickly becoming a default choice in key segments, brands like Toyota and Tesla are officially on high alert. Do you own a BYD, or have you taken one for a test drive? Let us know your experience in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one!